and welcome back to my zone active kids where we actively invest in your, your future. future whose future your, your future. future my name is marisol stofberg and this is my beautiful friend for today my name is Ndamona. Hi, friends. We are so happy you guys are back because it's our Road Safety Week with the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture. And friends, today is all about being safe inside your car. Ndamona, can you see on our screen, we have the inside of a car. And you know what we're looking at? That is a steering wheel. Mm, but what's important for our friends to remember is we should never play inside the car. So just because you are in the car with maybe your older brothers and sisters and your mommy and daddy or your grandma and grandpa are not with you, never play with the gears, never play with the pedals, never play with the handbrake and never play with the steering wheel. It looks fun, but it is very, very naughty to do so because maybe the car starts moving and you don't know how to drive. How will you stop it? So that is what we want you to remember today. And it's also Thursday. And you know what that means? Do you know? No. Do you know? No. Do you know? No. 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 Arts and crafts. So we are going to make something magical just for you. We also need to remind you that you can catch us every single day of the week from Monday to Friday at 9 on the MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages. And they can also catch us on our One Up To television show at 10. But we also need to thank our friends at Innovation so much for our super fun bean bags. So if you need anything for your party, please send an email to info at kickstartnam.com. But now it's time for us to sing a song. Yay! Do you know what song I want us to sing? What song? Do you know the song, Head, Shoulders, Knees and Toes? Yay! Okay, we're going to sing that one. First, we're going to start off slow, and then the second time we're going to sing pow, 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 pow. Are you ready? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Okay, now it is time for us to sing it again, but fast. <gasps> Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Well done. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Good job. Now it's time for Arts and Crafts, friends. So please stay tuned and enjoy. Hi everybody, this is my picture that, that I got at school. This is the road and the, um, this is top. Yeah, and um, these are the two cars driving around. You should, you should stop, the car stopped because of the red light says stop. And the other side says be careful. And the green light says go. Bye!
Hi friends, welcome back to Arts and Craft. Today we are drawing a bicycle. You'll need a scissor, papers, and a coke pen. You can use a pencil or a um, crayon. So I'm going to start up with a circle. Two circles for the wheels. And then I'm going to cut them out. I hope you guys can see this these are the wheels for the bicycle that I'm going to draw I'm quickly cutting it out and done Okay guys, let's cut out the next one. Okay. Okay, we're almost done with our next one. So now I'm going to draw the body this the body for the for my bike first off I'm going to start with the pedals to see and then the handles and then the wheels will be here And then this is just the back thing. All right, guys. I'm going to remove this paper and place my wheel on the on the bicycle that I drew. Okay, these are the pedals. You guys can see and this is me on the bicycle with a happy face those are my hands and those are my legs on the pedal okay guys I'm done red wheels and me and that's all we have for today bye Wow, friends, I had so much fun with arts and craft. What's next, Marisa? Next up, my beautiful, lovely little people, we have our cool friends, Zoe and Zaki. So please stay tuned and enjoy. Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hooray! Hello, 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 how are you? I'm good, I'm good, I'm great, I'm great, I'm wonderful. Hooray! Hi, beautiful people. My name is Zaki. Hi, friends. My name is Zoe, and I missed you so much. And we are niece and nephew. Zaki, mm -hmm. our theme for the week is Road Safety with the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture. Zoe, what's our theme for today? 
Today is all about being safe in the car. Zoe, we have a big responsibility when we're driving in the car. We do, and we can share that we, with our friends too. The first thing you should do is to always, always wear your safety belt. Our safety belt keeps us safe in the car. It keeps us snuggled and protected, and it's super duper important. When you are in a car, you should also remember to never jump around or play in the car. You can distract your mommy and daddy, and that can take their attention away from the road. When you're in the car, you should also never stretch your arms or legs outside the window. Or try to hang out of the window. That can really be dangerous and you can get really, really hurt. So we, we should also not play with the gears or pedals when we are in the car. Because then the car can start running backward or forward. And that can become super dangerous for us. I think it is really important for us to not think the car is playground. And to help our mommies and daddies to concentrate and to get us safely where we need to go. I think it's time for us to sing a super fun song, Zeki. Get ready, friends. And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three. Driving in my car. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Driving in my car. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Driving very fast. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Driving very slow. Vroom, vroom, vroom. I like driving, driving in my car, riding on my bike, pedal, 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 riding on my bike, pedal, 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 riding very fast, pedal, 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 riding very slow, pedal, pedal, pedal. I like riding, riding on my bike, rowing in my boat, splash, 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 rowing in my boat. Splash, splash, splash. Rowing very fast. Splash, splash, splash. Rowing very slow. Splash, splash, splash. I like rowing, rowing in my boat. Riding on the train. Choo, choo, choo. Riding on my train. Choo, choo, choo. Riding very fast. Choo, choo, choo. Riding very slow. Choo, choo, choo. I like riding, riding on my train. I love how. Uh, we get to learn so many exciting things this week and how we learn how to stay safe in the car. Me too, Zeki. It's time for fun fact again. Did you know that we spend almost two weeks of our lives waiting for um, at a red traffic light? Wow, that is so cool. But that it is from us for today, friends. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Wow, Zoe and Zaki was so much fun, friends, but now it's time for us to have some fun. So, um, Ndamona, today we're going to play a mind game. We're actually going to play two. So the first thing I want us to do is I will give you an explanation of something, and then you need to guess what I am talking about, okay? Guessing game. It's a guessing game, but it's about car parts. So I will explain something and then you need to guess. So friends, you need to see if you can guess it quicker than the monarch can. That's important. Are you ready? Yep. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. And the idea is to do as quickly as possible. So the moment that you know, you, you hoy, like millies. Okay. So this car part makes a loud noise when you press it. A beep. A what? Uh the hooter <laughs> yeah the hooter okay so that's the first one the second one is this car part you use when you're going faster so you you change something when you go faster so the car doesn't make that sound and it when you move it it goes down and up and down and up What do you call it? The thing here, between the seats. Um, it's your 
gearbox. Oh, okay. Yes, and that's how you <laughs> shift your gears. Okay, this car part you press to go faster. Pedal? Yes, 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 you can press it to go faster, slower, or to stop. This car part you use when it's raining to clean the window. And it goes like this. Wipers. Wipers. Okay. This car part you switch on when it's dark so you can see what's happening on the road. The light. Yes. This car part you use to get inside the car. So you need to open this car part to actually get in the car. The door? Yes. And the last one, this car part you put on the moment you get into the car so you're safe in your seat. The seat belt. Yes. So now the second part of our game is a true and a false. So I'm going to give a question and then the Mona needs to say if it's false or if it's true. Okay. When you are in the car, you are allowed to jump up and down on your seat. False. When you're in the car, you can have to put on your safety belt. True. When you're in the car, you can make a lot of noise to distract your parents. False. You are allowed to put your head outside the window when you are driving on the highway. False. You are allowed to shift the gears on your own. False. You um, should always make sure that everyone in the car is wearing their seatbelt. True. You should always adhere to the road signs. True. And you should always keep to the speed limit. True. There we go. So that is it for us, for our active activity friends. But now it's time for our online school lesson. So get ready for week 22, lesson four. Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Good day, class. Today, we are going to have a quick road safety lesson. Step one, always stop when you get to the road. Step two, you have to make sure to look left, right and left again. And as soon as you don't hear or see any more cars, then you are free to cross the road. Remember everyone? Look left, right, and left again. Now everyone, I hope that you will continue to cross the road safely. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello everyone. Welcome to my zone online school. It is so good to have you with us to again today. I am teacher Hartung and our theme for this week is my community. Now everyone, let's quickly sanitize. Remember everyone 
sanitizing keeps our hands clean and all the germs away. Let's quickly see what we are going to learn about today. Our lesson will be about patterns and puzzles. Today's lesson we are going to start with on page 26. Let's turn our booklets to page 26. Now there you will see some patterns. Now here we have to look at the patterns and we have to complete the patterns. So boys and girls, you can take your crayons or your pencils and let's draw the patterns together. It's always nice if we make use of different color crayons. So everyone, you can decide what colors you want to use for your patterns. You can always use your favorite colors. Now let's do the first pattern together. Now everyone, all we have to do here is we have to draw the pattern on the line that is given to us already. Okay, now by doing these patterns or drawing these patterns, we are practicing our handwriting and also practicing how to move our hands and our pencils or crayons. Now, I want us to do the first one together. Now, just as I am putting my crayon here in the beginning, remember everyone, you always start at the beginning. Then you take your crayons or pencils and you draw the lines on the pattern all the way like that. Can you see how my hand is moving down, up, around, down, up, around, down, up, around and down. You see, now these patterns are so much fun everyone. All you have to do as I said is put your crayon in the beginning and move along with the pattern. Now let's quickly do the second pattern together. Remember we start at the beginning and then we move with the pattern. Here we go up and down. Then we go up and down. Right. Look here. We go up and down. Up and down, up, down, up, down, up and down. Right, now everyone, you will see that on page 26, you have two more of the same pattern that you have to draw. So, you can now use the same way to draw your patterns as we have with the first and the second pattern. Now everyone, just quickly before you continue and go on with your patterns, I want us to quickly turn our booklets to page 30. Now here, on page 30, we have to do some puzzles. Now everyone, the first thing you have to do here is you have to cut out these puzzles. Now, everyone, you are going to need some scissors. Now remember, scissors are very, very sharp. So it's always a good idea to ask a grown-up to help you 
cut your puzzle. Now on page 30, you will see on the puzzle you have nice gray lines and you have to go ahead and cut your puzzle on the line. You have some straight lines and then you will have some curvy or circular lines. Now when you are done everyone, your puzzle will look like this. All your puzzle pieces will have different shapes and different colors. Now everyone, I started with the puzzle here on the board and I took three pieces of the puzzle and now we have to find three more pieces that we can fit into this puzzle. Now I'm only going to help you halfway and then I'm going to leave you to do the rest on your own boys and girls. Now if we have a close look at the puzzle, these pieces I put on the board, you will see we have one, two, three, four faces, right? Now one of the ways that can make puzzle building easy is to look at the colors, right? Now we can go ahead and look at what color shirts or tops these people are wearing. Now the first one is very easy. The first boy is wearing a blue shirt. So this one is easy to look for. So now we go back to our pieces and we look for a blue shirt. Something that looks like a blue shirt. Does this piece have some blue in it? Absolutely it does. So there is a little bit of blue. Now let's see if we can put this one somewhere here. Does it fit there? This way? No. This way it still does not fit. The other way? Absolutely not. What do we do next? Let's look at the second piece. Does this piece have some blue in it? That's right, over here. So now let's use this one and see if it fits. Let's try it like this. Do you think this one fits? Absolutely it does. Can you see now boys and girls that we even found the first girl's shirt which is the pink one. But now we are still missing a piece of the blue shirt. Shall we try another piece? Absolutely we will. Now let's have a look at all our pieces. Let's try this one. Do we have some blue in this picture? Yes, we do. Now let's put it on the board and see if it fits over here. Do you think it fits? Yes, it does. So now we go ahead and we put it in there. Wow, everyone, can you see this picture coming together? It looks good. Now let's find the next piece. Do you remember the first piece that we had? What colors did we have in that piece? Let's have a look. What are the colors that we have here? We have a little bit of blue. We have some yellow. And here we can see the hand of one person. Then we have some green as well. Now let's see. Do we have any green over here? Or yellow? Or blue? 
That's right, we do. So you will see over here, here we have a blue top and we have a yellow coat. And over here, I also find some green parts of this man's shirt. So do you think we should try this piece over there? I think so too. So let's see if it fits in here. Do you think this piece fits? Absolutely it does. So now everyone, we can almost see the full picture. Now everyone, I want you to go back and have a look at all the other pieces that you still have and try and find where they fit. Right, now everyone, I want you to go ahead and finish the rest of the puzzle on your own. Now remember, if you are not sure, you can always ask a grown-up to help you, especially with those scissors when you have to cut your puzzle. Now everyone, don't forget, you still have to finish your patterns and then I'm going to give you some time to finish your puzzle as well. We will see you shortly after this ad break. Do you have children in the age range of 5 to 6 years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over 10 different languages. We have come to the end of our lesson for today, boys and girls. Now everyone, before we say goodbye, we have to remember to sanitize. Now remember people, sanitizing is very important because it keeps our hands clean and gets rid of all the nasty germs. Now everyone, remember, you have to wait for your hands to dry before you touch anything. Now before I go boys and girls, Zoshi promised me that we can go to the park today. Now everyone, do you see Zoshi anywhere? There he is! Hello Zoshi! Now boys and girls, from Zoshi and I, we say goodbye till we see you again. Ta-ta! Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, My Zone Online School, Amos Meerkat Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation. Wow, I just had the most fun ever today. Thank you for joining me. She's becoming a regular. You can't leave now. Aww. You can never leave. Our friends know you now. They know your face. They'll recognize you in spot. And they will be like, I know her. And then you need to say hi to them. Oh, yes. Yes, honey. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> But friends, that is it from us for today. Thank you again to the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture for being part of our Road Safety Week. We hope you guys remember what we taught you today and we hope you remember what we said in the lesson and also the very fun videos that we had. So please make sure that you pay attention and you stay safe and we will see you again tomorrow. Bye!